like this. And you need to find the area. What is this made up of? A circle? And a rectangle. You take that pink paper, you find this circle, you find the formula for area, and you write it down. Pi or square. You bring down pi. R stands for radius. Well, 10 is the diameter, so what's the radius? And then for the rectangle, that's base times height. This rectangle is 10 by 25. The area is 250. And then you add the two numbers up. Not quite sure what the problem is here. If you have something that looks like this, this is a semicircle. semicircle and a triangle. Semicircle, pi or squared, and then you divide that area by two. Triangle, half, B, H. <coughs> Look, well again, that's all you are doing. And then the back was kind of like a figure we just did on the PLB. I don't quite understand what the problem is. Probably going to get that back tomorrow. I don't know. And try to bring your grades up. All right. You need your binders and you need to open some classwork stuff. I don't want to hear your moaning and groaning. Get your binders out and open to the classwork section. Okay. 
But circumference is the same thing as equivalent to the perimeter of the other shape. Now, to find the circumference of a circle. The circumference of a circle is based off of the definition of pi. The definition of pi. If I ask you, if I ask you what what is pi, I guarantee you everybody in here will tell me it's 3.14 or it's a decimal and it never ends and it never repeats, yada yada. That's all y'all know about pi. That's not the important part of pi. Pi is equal to 3.14. Pi is a decimal that goes on forever. Pi never ends. It never repeats. But that's not what's important. What's important is that pi is equal to the circumference of a circle divided by its Diameter. Pi is equal to C B. So pi is a ratio of the circumference of a circle divided. So, 
This piece of string is the length of this diameter. Now if I start here, that's one. That's two. And then if I come here, not exact, but look, if I come here, it is, it is three, and then there's a little bit of space left. What's that little bit of space represent? The point one four. But if you cut something, the length of the diameter of a circle, it'll go around the outside about three times. I don't care if it's something small like this or something big like that clock. The diameter of the clock will go around the outside a little bit more than three times. The diameter of a circle will go around the outside five times. 3.14 times. Any circle. Doesn't matter how small or how large. So if I, if I cut a piece of string this long, and I started right here, it would go around one, two, three whole times, and maybe a little piece left. Now, from this formula, and from knowing what pi is, is where the circumference formula comes from. So, let's have, let's say we have pi equals c2, and we solve this And the bottom line is, if you need to find the circumference. Now, people who are listening to me, you understand that you can get great value. Do you somehow understand that this comes from this? Okay? Then, this is the one on your reference sheet. So, if you 
you need to find the circumference of a circle, you will use this formula. If you know the circumference of a circle and you need to find the radius, you will use this formula. Anytime circumference is involved, you're going to use this formula. So draw a circle like this. to know the circumference of this circle. Tomorrow, when I give you your assignment on this, you will need to use your reference sheet, and you may need to turn back to these notes for those of us who have a math binder and take notes on the sheet of paper in our math binder. <coughs> we have calculated 